welcome back to Ben Switch Live. In this episode, I want to test out this new tool that comes with Plasticity 1.2. So basically, if you select face, you might notice there's this draft face and there's also match face. With the draft face, uh, I kind of try, I kind of try it. Um, so basically, if you have select face and the second face, you get this circular tools, gizmo, and then you can actually do kind of like a rotations okay so that's pretty much what draft face does but the, I'm more just interested with match face um, with match face if we look if you look at the video by pixel phone you um, so this is this Muppet character explaining the function basically if you select a face and do the match face it's basically doing some kind of projections without you actually doing booleans you can project that face to match the cylinder and also if you have this surface or sheet uh, you can kind of project that as well so it's really simple so you can watch this video uh, and then yeah, it's only 30 seconds but anyhow I want to try if I could match if I could do the same thing if I have like this spline curve, if I duplicate this and then select this and that and then L to loft, now we have this sheet object and I have this face and I want to I want to match the face. I just select the match face and then select that. Okay, suddenly okay we have the matching face suddenly our cube is no longer a cube and we have this face that's coming from the sheet surface that we lost from this curve so that's really pretty much it but uh, i want to do a little bit more um, let's say in the past if you actually try a sphere i know the fact that if we are drawing a cylinder it will use the normal of the sphere right and then if you actually try to join this using Q it will actually refuse it it will refuse why because they are not touching and in order to make them touching we usually extend this area but nowadays uh, I mean with version 1.2 we can just use the match face so that's another usage of match face so the cylinder face around that area is matching this guy okay so we can actually join them together using Q and now we can blend Of course they don't actually need to join uh, you can they're kind of matching right the face is matching and you can do this uh, blend fillet what happens is if you actually expand the cylinder you will see that because we have like a match face happening This solid is still separate with this sphere, but this part is actually still rounded. You can always, you can always match the face. I mean, and it's gonna project the face into this guy, so it's kind of like a ball, ball and socket thing. So I guess that's another usage, because normally, I mean, if you. To try anyway with this and another cylinder let's turn off this x-ray you draw a cylinder there obviously the face will not match so it's not touching unless you use this match face project now it's they are much matching and touching you can of course make this rounded if you want to do that 
and they are still separate object but you can always you can also do a join using QQ and blend so that's super 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 handy I guess another usage is if you are if you want to do like a projections let's say you have text object text X let's move let's move this guy using G oh okay move this you want to you want to project this on the surface let's try the plasticity way of doing this is used to use a uh, control D and then we select the the region of this X and then we just make a duplicate or like snap it. Let me do this again. Control D, select the region, snap it there. Oh, okay. It doesn't seem correctly let's try again text object X I guess in this case I instead of having a curve let's turn this into a solid object it's easier this way control D select the center and then we just want to put it there uh, use to flip the object we can rotate we can also scale and we can do the same on this surface as well so it's following the surface So now we want if you want to blend these objects together let's we can simply select the face and then match face tool and then project By doing that, there the face is totally matching, and then we can just join them together. Okay, and we can do the blend. Yeah, you can select all the edge there where they are touching. And then do the blend. I think the easier method is to select this space and then expand control shift plus and then control 2 and then blend okay so let's do the same thing here select this we simply want to project match to the sphere pretty handy same Selecting the face sometimes tricky. Select the face, match the face to the sphere. And if you, you can also do this. Okay, let me try showing it to you. Draw a circle. Extrude the circle. And you're gonna make like a dome shape. And then shift click. Now we have this shape where we can delete that. We don't need the curve anymore. We can delete the circle. Now we can project the X here into this guy, right? And you can also flip.
flip flip the face and we don't need the shit anymore so it's, <laughs> it's the X and the shit you know like Twitter and you can still drag this extrusion or just grab this using G and just move this so you get this rounded really nice X on top of this on top of sphere uh, let's try one more thing you can draw a circle on the face of the sphere with the circle being uh, with the curve of the circle being selected shift I will imprint that to the sphere right so let's uh, delete this curve now we want to connect this maybe into another sphere let's do this again select the curve select the curve shift i imprint now we have we we can use the bridge curve let's try bridge curve from the center into the center okay now they are connected with this curve we can do pipe and often time if you notice the pipe also the end of the pipe not necessarily connect to that guy so we can use the match face once again to match the face we need to get pretty close get the face match face connected so now they are connected pretty much you can do the blend or you can you can actually keep them separate and just do the rounded part around that area but let's say you extrude this area right now they are separate again you can pretty easily select this face match the face to that guy again so, so it's becoming super handy that, that way so now if you select this solid you can queue now they are all joined together you can blend the blend actually can go pretty far with the latest 1.2 so yeah that's a match face thanks to Fogan what's his name Fogan the Muppet and the yeah plasticity is pretty strange that way you can you can basically have this like that and then do a union and do the blend and then move this thing around they are still connected them close together also and they're kind of blending this is also kind of new with 1.2 I think but yeah the match face is really really handy so now you can basically blend anything any surface into any surface you just can kind of project and attach them together it was pretty Hard to do before I mean you, you probably need to like do, do like a boolean and then boolean differences things like that so anyway let's see do 
a bit of improvisations. Control R, make a cut there. Turn this into, turn this into mushroom. See, you see the blend there the projections even if we are doing rotation like this the projected face is still connected to this surface okay so yeah so that's pretty much it just uh just want to show you a few examples where you can use match face it's really handy to turn you know like default cube with all straight edge you can just simply match it with a cylinder or this type of curve. So I select this match face, copy that, it doesn't work. Flip it to the front. Now it's working, you see? It's kind of weird shape, but previously it was pretty difficult to get this kind of shape. And then perhaps you can use drop, drop face and rotate. Can I do a drop there? Yeah, this drop face working. At some point, I will make something that's a little bit more like real, like type of design. But in this case, if you just if you just wanna play around with the tools, match face, draft face, and then with the just basic, uh, basic extrusion and projections, you can get quite interesting connected surface like this. Okay, so there you go. Hopefully, you find this useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye